The spinal wave is one of the most important exercises for learning how to segment your spine. Learning how to segment your spine is important because it will work the smallest muscles that stabilize your spine. This can prevent and improve any illness of the spine. It's really important when you do the waves to do them slowly and really imagine each vertebra moving over the one on top or below it, which means you really want to feel segment by segment of your spine, especially in the areas that tend to be vulnerable, which is the lower back and our neck. Now you have two directions of forward uh, waves and two directions of sideways waves. Forwards waves, we have head leading or pelvis leading. Same with the sideways waves. In sideways waves, it's really important to make sure that you're not rotating as you're going sideways. Many people rotate, especially their head, and after that, the bot whole body rotates. If you can look at it from the side, you can really see that I can divide my spine into two areas, the lower spinal area, like I'm doing now, or the upper spinal area where I move only my upper torso. You're, you see that each exercise, I do both directions. When you really do it well, it looks kind of freaky. That's what it's supposed to look like. So now I'm just moving my upper torso and you can see how I'm trying to leave my lower part of the spine as static as possible and I'm moving my upper part of the spine on top of it. Again, go slowly and don't forget your neck. Here I moved on to the regular waves without the uh, separation between upper and lower spine so you can see what it looks like from the side. I'm really trying to sense where I have less motion. Usually it'll be the thoracic area and I'll try and create there as much motion as I can moving through it slowly. Waves are all about creating these micro movements in order to stabilize and strengthen your spine.